dear students i am dr shikha pande associate professor from institute of aeronautical engineering so today i will discuss with you about the present status of waste so uh, in this lecture series of this subject uh, solid waste management so far we have discussed about the principal solid waste its characteristics and types of waste then we discussed about the its primary collection and secondary collection so after primary collection and secondary collection we discussed about its disposal method uh, transportation and processing of waste so after this uh, all this has been given by the uh, provision has been made with the government of india for the total from the uh, from the waste generation to its final disposal after this what is the status of waste now so now when we talk about the major challenges that will be related with the solid waste management in for any city or town is like first one is the managing the continuous flow of solid waste on the daily basis and dealing with the legacy to neglect which has resulted in garbage heap having been have been uh, having been built up at a dump site that were meant for waste processing and landfills so after these so many of rules and so many of provision has been given from this msw site again we will have two major challenges related with the solid waste management so first one is like the we have to manage the continuous flow of solid waste for on a city on a daily basis so this will be a big headache and this will be a big issue and challenges for the management of solid waste because daily basis too much solid waste is generated from a single, uh, of a city then uh, after this what happened for this uh, we will neglect it because this uh, too much amount of solid waste is generated in a single day and then legacy of neglect and it will be results into the garbage heaping because it has been neglected and in this way what happened garbage has been throwing and garbage garbage has been creating at here and there side so this will be built at the dump site and that were meant for the waste processing and landfill so some garbage heap will be there and that should be built up to the dump site and it will be means for it will be goes for the waste processing and landfill so the the sites for landfill were originally located outside of the city but as the city have expanded the dump site are now almost in the city so before previously what happened this uh, dump site should be outside outskirt of the city and where you can go and you can dump the uh, uh, these municipal people will do the hauling of solid waste solid waste but now what happened due to expanding of the city this landfill will be uh, expanded the dump site are now almost in the city so this landfill is expanded to up to that much areas uh, in because of that this has been it included into with the city this dump site is now included within the city so here are the some of the case of this first is the delhi open dump at the gazipur you can see that in the gazipur village some open dumps is there in the delhi, delhi. next is the okla that is also a uh, before it it was like in a noida that is uh, out outskirt of the city 55 meter high and this is like it has been become very this dump site has height is very high so for delhi open dump site is there in gajipur this is 69 meter high same for okla it is like 55 meter high balswara is like 56 meter high so it is estimated that more than 10000 hectares of urban uh, land is blocked in this dump sites in india so because of this uh, of uh, collection this much of uh, solid waste in the of uh, in outskirt of the city like 69 meter high this is too much high 55 meter high 56 meter high so in this way it has been calculated that up to 10000 hectares of land is logged is uh, engaged in this dump site so in the form of dump site 69 uh, 10000 hectares of land is already engaged so it will be like and uh, because of that what happen landfill site will be there this landfill site is generating the methane methane is a greenhouse gas and some other landfill gases that contributes to global warming and they are also producing leachate which pollute ground water so for with na- uh, landfill negative point is that first is the ghg emission 
second is a uh, leached generation leached generation so with this much of uh, solid waste collection this much of solid waste it has been uh, already calculated that 10000 hectares of land is already engaged in the dump site and this landfill site generates some methane and uh, two uh, two negative side of this landfill is the first is the greenhouse gas emission next is the leached generation so this uh, landfill is generating the methane and some other landfill gases that will contribute to the global warming and they are also producing some leachate and this is like liquid generated by airless waste and that pollute the ground water so two major disadvantages is there with the landfill first is a generation of greenhouse gas second is a leachate generation so this leachate is very much dangerous because leachate is a like of a liquid that liquid will percolates from the solid waste dump site and due to the percolation of liquids it will contain some toxic substance uh, from the uh, solid waste okay so toxic uh, elements are there in the solid waste that has been released and percolated in the form of leachate and this leachate will enters the ground water this will enters the ground water sometimes it will enters the subsurface water so with landfill three most uh, very biggest major concern is there first is it has engaging very um, too much of land in a uh, 10000 hectares of land second is a, it will generate the methane methane is a greenhouse gas third one is a leachate generation leachate is very much dangerous liquid that will be percolates from the solid waste and that will contain some toxic substances and it enters the ground waters in during the rainy season or any season so uh, now comes to the next point so what happen many municipal authorities across the country are opting for capping as a solution to the legacy of mixed waste so many municipal authorities in the country they are going to opt a capping system this capping system is a solution for the legacy of mixed waste which is not the first option in order to priority for the environment environmentally safe legacy waste management as per the clause j of the schedule 1 of the solid waste management rule 16 so uh, this capping will be there capping is a solution for the legacy of mixed waste and this is uh, not the first option in order of priority for the environmentally safe legacy waste management so that has been given in the clause j of the schedule 1 of the solid waste management rule 2016 so provision what a provision government has been given in the uh, solid waste management rule 2016 government of india has notified the solid waste management rules 16 for the proper uh, management proper and effective management of msw so under the solid waste management rule 16 following provision has been made to manage the old dumps of municipal solid waste so a uh, government of india has given a uh, solid waste management rule 2016 in this uh, solid waste management rule 2016 they have made a provision for the effective and proper management of solid waste under the solid waste management rule 2016 they have made the following provision first is like uh, to the management of the dump old dump site so rule 15 is there that is the uh, duties and responsibilities of the local authorities and village panchayats of census town and urban agglomeration so rule 15 will be there this this rule 15 is like it is a duty and responsibility of the local authorities and some village panchayat for the census town and urban agglomeration so for uh, rule 15 has been defined some duty for the panchayat so they will uh, they will do some effective management of solid waste and they will go for some effective and proper uh, management of solid waste so first is the local authorities and panchayat will do it they will investigate and analyze all open dump sites and existing operational dump dump site these authorities and panchayat will investigate and analyze all the o old open dump site they have the duty has been assigned to them to monitor and to see the how much open dump site that has been open only and they are like existing operational dump site for their potential of biomining 
and by remediation and whoever feasible so they have to identify the open dump sites so we can do some bio mining activity or some bio remediation activity which will be feasible for this area and then it should be take some necessary action for bio mine and bio remediate the site then some necessary action will be required it should be taken for the bio mining or bio remediation of the dump site so the uh, they have made some provision for the bio remediation or phyto remediation of open dump site so uh, in this way the, the dump site which will be old already they have captured lots of uh, hectares of land so when uh, if we will go for the uh, bio mining or bio remediation of the dump site then automatically it will be this in this way the uh, landfill will be reclaimed we can reclaim the waste land to again a useful land because with the dumping of solid waste the the land will become the waste only and the that will be a polluted too so when we will identify the panchayat people will identify the open dump site and they will go for bio remediation or bio mining of this uh, uh, landfill landfill area then we can reclaim this waste land to a useful land so in the absence of potential of bio mining and bio remediation of dump site it shall be scientifically capped as per the landfilling capping norms to prevent further damage to the environment so as per the norms that has been given in the landfill dump site uh, reclamation the capping no norm will be there and that will be to prevent the damage to the environment so Uh, the uh, law shall apply to every urban local body this law will apply to every urban local body outgrowth in the urban agglomeration cantonment board panchayat industrial and institutional township railways and defense establishment so two provision will be there first is the in the absence of potential of bio mining and bio remediation of dump site it shall be scientifically capped as per the landfill capping norms that will be for to prevent the further damage to the environment and the law will be there that law shall apply to every urban local body that law will be applied to every urban local body and the out outgrowth will be there in urban agglomeration cantonment board panchayat industrial and institutional township railways and defense establishment so if you can see this is a picture for the bio remediation and bio mining of legacy of waste so mining of legacy waste is like stabilizing the waste by bioculture or stabilization first thing is the waste stabilization waste stabilization will be there then after we'll do the screening of the waste so on the basis of screening sieve will be there so some particular particular uh, size of sieve is there like up to 150 between 80 to 100 30 to 50 mm and less than 50 mm and 4 to 6 mm so uh, up to more than 150 mm it will contain uh, contain some bricks coconut cell some larger material so with this larger material what we should do it will uh, goes to the density separator density separator will be like on the basis of the density it will separate next you can uh, see that the particle size from 80 to uh, 80 to 100 mm 30 to 50 mm and less than 30 mm it will be goes for the shredding as per the requirement or some industry need so uh, shredding will be there then 4 to 6 is the bio earth or uh, goods man, good earth so like farmer landscaping or soil conditioner so 4 to 6 mm is like very small so some manures some compost will be there manure or compost so it will goes to the uh, farmers landscaping and soil conditioners so shredding as per the requirement or industry need so after the shredding it will enters the rdf recycling or road making bio earth good earth will be there and this will be go for the soil soil conditioner then from shredding like rdf like uh, resourced uh, rdf center will be there uh, mrf uh, location center will be there 
Next is the recycling unit. Then either it will goes for the road making also. So this is uh, the overview of the bioremediation and biomining of legacy waste. So uh, on an old dumping municipal site, the bioremediation process will be occur, and that process will reclaim the uh, old dumping site, and that will be goes for some useful works or some useful things will be there. Okay. Now comes to the next point, like uh, the processing equipments for the processing of legacy waste. So, what are the processing equipments we are using for this reclamation or excavation process? So, the major equipment that would come in use would fall under the following heads of the processes. Like some excavation will be there, shredding will be there, excavation. These are the methods which will be using for this one. Excavation, then shredding, then screening. Then next is the air classification, air classification, then ferrous separation, ferrous separation. So these are the methods. This method has been adopted for the um, e equipment processing of the legacy waste. So as per the suitability and requirement, the appropriate choice should be made. So for screening, trommel will be there, vibrating screen and discs or star will be there. Next is the handling equipment. For handling equipment, loader is there, that is front load. Conveyor belt will be there or sometimes forklifts will be there. So in this way, if proper uh, equipment will be provided, proper uh, thing will be provided from the municipal people, then it is very easy to manage the waste and it is very easy to, uh, to reclaim the already uh, dumped waste sites also. So for uh, for like the some process will be there like excavation, shredding, screening, some air classification and uh, ferrous separation, separation also. So uh, then we we will discuss about the process of bio remediation or bio mining. So bio remediation or bio mining. Like for uh, bio remediation, we will uh, do some. We will add some. Sometimes we add some. Uh, Bi biological or uh, agents also some biological agents or some microbial agents so how it will starts first is the uh, you can excavate or excavation will be there so in excavation excavators are there they will dig 2 to 2 2.5 meter deep trenches 2 to 2.5 meter deep trenches excavators has been done then hand pick the large objects so after the excavation excavation next is the hand pick the large object obviously the large object should be hand pick that we already uh, discussed in the last slide like uh, the hand pick will be there for the hand pick for the large objects and then windrow will be made windrow is for the uh, will be made for the remaining waste so this windrow is like uh, one uh, it will be uh, present in the form of a windrow. So mist spray bioculture like some 5% of cow dung mixed in water and spray on the waste. So uh, organic mist spray the bioculture like 5% of cow, cow dung will be mixed in water and spray on the waste and then uh, the windrow should be turned in 2-3 days. So after 20 days screening should be done. So after 20 days screening will be done, some resource recovery will be there. So this is the process of bioremediation and biomining. So in bioremediation, first excavation will be there. Then uh, what the hand pick will be there for the larger objects and windrow from the remaining waste. After that, mist spray, bioculture, bio 5% of the cow dung will mix in water and spray on the waste. Then turn the windrow 2-3 uh, days. After 2-3 days, this windrow should be turned and after 20 days, screening will be there. So from screening, resource recovery will also be there. Next uh, is the schedule 1. Schedule 1 is like re uh, closure and rehabilitation of old dumps. Old dump site should be closed on rehabilitation should be there. So for this solid waste dumps which has been reached their full capacity or those which will uh, not receive any additional waste 
after setting up of a new and properly designed landfill should be closed and rehabilitated by examining the following options so after 50 years or after 25 years the uh, dump site should be closed or rehabilitation should be carried out on the old dump site so on that what happened this has been given in the provision that after 20 years every dump site should be closed and reclamation process should be started and the solid waste dump which have reached their full full capacity so those solid waste that is already full with its capacity and which is not be able to receive additional waste so after setting up of new or properly designed landfill it should be closed so after uh, receiving some uh, setting up new and properly designed landfill it should be closed and rehabilitation should be started for this waste and we are using the following option first is the reduction of waste by biomining and waste processing that will be followed by placement of residue in the new new landfills capping with solid waste cover or solid waste cover enhance with some geomembrane or enable the collection and flaring like utilization of greenhouse gases capping with solid waste cover or solid waste cover will enhance with some geomembrane and it is going to enable the collection flaring utilization of greenhouse gases capping as like in uh, in the in the two number what we discussed like the uh, with some additional measure like for some alluvial soil or some other coarse grain soil that should be cut off walls and extraction well for pumping and treating the contaminated groundwater so same it is there like capping is in for two uh, second one with some additional measures like in alluvials and coarse grain soil is like cut off wall will be there and extraction wells are there that is for pumping and treating the contaminated ground water so this extraction well is uh, has been uh, set up for the pumping and treating of the contaminated ground water you can see this is the picture of excavators are there and then after exca excavator will do all these works then excavation of waste like they have been agglomerated and segregated the waste and then uh, windrow will be there that way, uh, and it has been compiled in the windrow next you can see this is the hand pick objects are there so hand pick object uh, those object which will be able to hand pick they are taking it like that and after that what happened some hand pick object like they will hand pick out some larger object like some rocks will be there coconut shell long piece of cloths large plastic bags so that should be hand pick and that should be go uh, send for some material recovery facility or some resource recovery facility or some whatever thing will be required for this type of dumping site we can provide it so this will be all about the uh, reclamation or legacy of solid waste dump site that has been already closed and that has been already completed so uh, that has been already completed so uh, previously what happened many type of solid waste sites are there that's all that sites is now um, completed its full capacity or it will be already um, too much full so in this way so for that much site what we have to do for the exclamation or for the recovery of that solid waste site because it has been estimated that more than 10000 hectares of land is engaged is captured among the solid waste disposal only so uh, when the uh, place will be there that place is already full that la landfill or dump site will be already full with the solid waste and that has been full and some re resource recovery will be there so in this way what happen it should be recovered and it should be goes for the uh, next level use of the waste because after reclamation or after the uh, composting site something will all dumping waste should be engaged in some of the area like some hand pick object will be there some uh, smaller things will be there so that will be already degraded if organic materials are there on the waste, waste dump site that has been already degraded and some compost has been made but some things will be there that will be not be able to degrade so this thing should be segregated it will be um, sent to the material recovery facility site or to the material recovery facility location so they can utilize it and form it new sub new things 
and the rest of the place the land will be reclaimed and uh, the, there should be some uh, some bio mining should be there or some bio remediation should be there so there are some small organisms are there see these um, organic uh, organisms are there they will degrade the soil and they will be reclaim the soil so we have discussed in this lecture about the reclamation of soil and how this rec reclamation should be done on the old dump site and this will be very much required because already too much of the land has been uh, engaged because of this old dump site previously what happened these are outskirts of the city but now already city is expanding too much so this uh, dumping site will in will enter into the city only so this is about the uh, reclamation of uh, landfill site now you can see this is the references of some of the textbook that you can follow for the further study because in this books you will get more information about the reclamation of land and how this solid waste management should be done so now i am concluding my lecture in this lecture i have discussed discussed about the status of the waste management and what is the status of the open dumping site so in open dumping site already many waste has been dumped so due to the dumping of solid waste on the um, uh, in an open dumping what happened many uh, many like 10000 hectares of land has been involved in this uh, dumping site so with this uh, with this involving and with the capturing of this 10000 hectares of land it is very tough to get this land back and already the waste the land has become wasteland so we are discussing about to reclaim that wasteland by the process of either excavation method or by applying some bio remediation some phyto remediation processes so we can reclaim the solid waste uh, solid waste disposal sites or landfill sites because after 20 years what happened already the organic waste that are there that has been degraded only few waste are left that is some plastic waste or some big objects or some or any uh, some discarded material or some inert waste so we should collect this type of waste the municipal people should collect the waste and they should send it to the material recovery facility site and then reclaim the waste reclaim the land area so that this land should be utilized or this land should be used it again so this is the main theme about this legacy of waste and the some dumping site has been there and this provision has been made in the municipal solid waste management rules 2016 so it is a duty of every panchayat it is a duty of every municipal municipality to look after which land has been uh, becomes a open dumping site and that is that land is not using so by reclaiming the land by reclaiming the land by the process of either bio mining or either by bio remediation you can utilize the land back again so that this land should we can we will be able to use this land again okay so if you have any query if you have any question regarding this lecture you can write in the comment box or you or you can directly mail me on to my given mail id shikha dot p n d e y at the rate gmail dot com so thank you for today's lecture like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates